What is the functionalist perspective on religion? Part 1. Emil Durkheim Introduction Functionalists believe society is a system of connected parts or institutions, such as religion, family, and economy. They compare it to an organism with needs that have to be met in order to survive by these institutions. Each institution performs functions that maintain society through meeting its needs. The most basic need is social order and solidarity, facilitating cooperation among its citizens. The foundation of this order is value consensus, which is the shared norms and values of its members. Without value consensus, its members focusing on their own desires will break society down. Durkheim on Religion Functionalists believe religion is central to creating and sustaining value consensus and social order, which was developed by Emile Durkheim. The Sacred and the Profane Durkheim believed religion was defined by the distinction between the sacred and the profane. Sacred was defined as things that are forbidden as they inspire awe, fear, wonder, and are attached to taboos and prohibitions. Profane was defined as things that have no special significance and are ordinary. Religion is essentially definite rules or practices that are sacred and embraced by many groups. Durkheim believed that sacred things were symbols that represented power, which was society itself, and could be the only thing to command strong feelings in religious believers. Furthermore, worship of sacred symbols is equivalent to worshiping society itself and, though symbols vary by religion, unites believers into a single community. Totemism Durkheim understood religion by studying clan societies. Specifically, he used studies of the Arunta, which was an Australian Aboriginal tribe. This clan was made up of sects of kin which came together to perform worship rituals of a sacred totem. This totem is a clan's emblem, like an animal or plant, which creates its identity and explains its origin. These rituals serve to reinforce the clan's solidarity and belonging. Durkheim is again equating this totem worship to worshipping society, even if the members aren't aware of it. The totem is essential to the clans as it inspires awe and provides the group power for which the members are dependent on. The Collective Conscience Durkheim believes sacred symbols represent a collective conscience, which is the shared norms, values, beliefs, and knowledge which creates a social life and cooperation among society's individuals, and without these things, society would crumble. In addition, Durkheim believed reoccurring religious rituals reinforced the collective conscience, thus supporting social integration. These shared rituals brought individuals together and reinforced the notion of being a part of a single community they're loyal to. The rituals reinforced the power of society which they owe everything to, and without it, they would lack self-worth. Religion is also viewed as important to the individual by making them feel a part of something greater and strengthening them to face trials and overcome obstacles that would otherwise defeat them. Cognitive Functions of Religion Durkheim sees religion as also a source of intellectual and cognitive capacities, which is the ability to reason and think conceptually. Durkheim equated the ability to think to needing categories such as time, space, substance, or numbers, etc., In addition, in order to share thoughts, there is a need to use categories similar to others. Durkheim believed that religion is the start of concepts and categories used for reasoning, understanding, and communicating. In Durkheim and Marcel Mauss's book, Primitive Classification, they state that religion provides basic categories like time and space, such as a creator creating the work at the beginning of time, and the division of tribes into clans as forms of classification. This essentially represents Durkheim's notion as religion being the origin of human thought and reason. Evaluation The evidence supporting totemism is not sound, which was supported by Worsley, 1956, in noting there is no real division between sacred and profane, seeing that different clans share similar totems. This indicates that Durkheim's claim to discovering the essence of all religions is not proven. In fact, Durkheim's theory may be more applicable in smaller societies with a singular religion, but is more problematic when applied to larger societies with varied religions' communities as it could create conflict. Thus, Durkheim's theory could explain social integration within communities, but may not explain the conflicts between them. 
This notion was supported by Stjepan Mestrovich, and other postmodernists indicating that Durkheim's ideas do not fit within more modern societies. These modern societies have increased in diversity and fragmented the collective conscience, and rendering this single shared value system unsupported.